Ever since the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990, the world has been amazed with pictures of space, giving us a better understanding of how the universe works. The Hubble Space Telescope stays perhaps the best telescope on the planet in spite of its age and just modest size. It reliably outflanks a significant number of the most progressive ground-based telescopes and is still considered the peak of optical and bright stargazing. Today, we will be looking at the five Hubble telescope discoveries. Dark matter. Dark matter is a type of matter which is thought to represent roughly 85% of the matter in the universe and around 25% of its total energy density, while it lends much of the gravitational force holding galaxies together. In spite of the fact that astronomers cannot see dark matter, a way has been found to detect it. The influence of dark matter is detected by observations in gravitational lensing. This is a dispersal of matter, for example a cluster of galaxies, between a far light source and an observer. That has the ability to bend the light from the source as the light travels towards the observer. The Hubble telescope's outstanding sharp vision enables astronomers to outline the distribution of dark matter in space using gravitational lensing. Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope have discovered a ghostly ring of dark matter that formed long ago during a titanic clash between two massive galaxy clusters. The astronomers came about the ring unexpectedly while they were mapping the distribution of dark matter around the galaxy cluster CL 0024 plus 17, which measures 2.6 million light years across and is located 5 billion light years from planet Earth. Although astronomers cannot see dark matter, they can infer its existence in galaxy clusters by observing how its gravity bends the light of more distant background galaxies. The universe seems to have around five times more dark matter than standard matter and is by all accounts composed around an enormous system of dark matter filaments that have developed after some time. At the crossing points of these filaments, massive, unmistakable structures similar to galaxies are found. The Mosaic Photo the Hubble Space Telescope has been taking the absolute most amazing pictures of the profound universe since it was placed into space numerous years back. Recently, space experts built up a mosaic of the distant universe that uses countless pictures Hubble has taken. The mosaic of pictures archives 16 years of perceptions for the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. The number of images taken is approximate to about 7,500, making it the largest and most comprehensive history book of galaxies ever put together. The mosaic is also called the Hubble Legacy Field. The picture contains 265,000 galaxies, covering more than 13.3 billion years of our universe's history. A portion of the galaxies captured in the mosaic stretch out right back to only 500 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was as yet youthful and planets were simply starting to shape. Along these lines, the new mosaic can be utilized to more readily comprehend the development of the universe, astronomers have said. Hubble's first profound sky picture was made in 1995, only five years after it propelled into space around Earth. Hubble pointed to a small area of sky more than 10 days in December of that year, delivering 100 hours of total exposure time which is similar to leaving the shade open on your camera. Astronomers were surprised to see over 3,000 galaxies. A subsequent deep field picture called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field was taken in 2003 to 2004. This was after another camera, the advanced camera, was installed. Within a period of 11.3 days, over 800 exposures were taken by the telescope. However, within the next few years, the depth of field of the detailed image would have been surpassed. NASA hopes to launch a new eye in the sky called the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope around the mid-2020s. Each photo snapped by WFIRST will capture 100 times the view of a typical Hubble image as speculated. 
anticipate another family photograph of the universe, demonstrating tens of millions of distant galaxies next to each other. Gamma ray bursts. Being the brightest electromagnetic events ever known to occur in the universe, the gamma ray bursts are known to be extremely energetic explosions that have been observed in distant galaxies. Assuming you have had the chance of detecting gamma rays with your eyes, you would see splendid bursts of light in the sky about once every day. The flashes would be so splendid, and they would immediately surpass everything, including the sun. These gamma ray bursts are the most powerful singular events in the universe. Gamma ray bursts were first discovered around the late 1960s. The discovery was not an intentional one, however. They were found by the US Vela satellites that were built to detect gamma radiation pulses transmitted by atomic weapons tested in space. At the time, the United States and the Soviet Union had signed a treaty called the Nuclear Test Ban, but the United States was suspicious that the Soviet Union would attempt to conduct nuclear tests. It eventually turned out that the suspected nuclear tests would show up as gamma rays that were not from Earth. Over the most recent couple of years, the indisputable proof has been revealed that probably some gamma ray bursts are related to supernovae. Some gamma beam blasts are seen to have afterglows in longer wavelengths. That is, you first get gamma rays, afterward X-rays, then UV light, and lastly, optical light. Supernovae are commonly recognized by their optical light curves, or the way the light changes after some time. The definitive proof came from when astronomers recorded the afterglow of a couple of gamma ray bursts in the optical and saw the unmistakable marks of a supernova in the optical light curve. Obviously, this doesn't imply that all gamma ray bursts are a result of supernovae. Gamma ray bursts are known for the variability of their own light curves. There are short gamma ray bursts, long gamma ray bursts, and ultra long gamma ray bursts. Fortunately, all the gamma ray bursts have been at safe distances from Earth. The nearest, recognized in 2003, is still over a billion light years away. Were gamma ray bursts to go off in our very own world, however, it could be dangerous for mankind. A close by gamma ray burst pointed right at Earth could trigger a mass eradication or even sterilize the planet. Hundreds of millions of planets and the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy, or alternatively known as Messier 31, M31, or NGC 224, was originally known as the Nebula Galaxy. Andromeda Galaxy is the closest major spiral galaxy to our Milky Way, with a diameter of 220,000 light years, although we have several dozen galaxies closer. The Andromeda Galaxy can actually be seen on a clear night from a place with a dark sky. The distance of the galaxy to the Earth is currently at 2.5 million light years. The current name given to the galaxy was gotten from the Andromeda constellation, which appears in the Earth's sky. The Andromeda Galaxy has an estimated number of stars at about 1 trillion. That is about twice the number of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. At about 10 billion years ago, the Andromeda Galaxy was formed from the collision and merger of proto-galaxies. Initially, astronomers thought the Andromeda Galaxy was a solar system in the process of formation. However, the Andromeda Galaxy was resolved to individual stars in the 20th century. Even though the Andromeda Galaxy has more stars than our Milky Way galaxy, its mass is not as much because the Milky Way is assumed to contain more dark matter. The Andromeda Galaxy has a concentrated bulge of matter in the middle, surrounded by a disk of gas, dust and stars with an immense halo. The Andromeda has dwarf galaxies just as the Milky Way, with about 14 known galaxies. The only two galaxies that are best known and readily observed are the M32 and M110. In the next 4 billion years, Astronomers estimate that the Andromeda Galaxy will collide with the Milky Way and this merger will end after 6 billion years from now. The Andromeda is approaching the Milky Way at about 68 miles per second. 
This collision will change the structure of these two galaxies permanently. But before that time comes, the Sun would have swollen to a red giant, consuming terrestrial planets like the Earth. We definitely have more to be worried about before the collision between the two galaxies. Supermassive black holes pinning down the age of the universe. A supermassive black hole contains a mass of the order of thousands up to billion times in mass of that of the Sun. Its pulling force of gravity is so strong that light is not able to escape. The strong gravity occurs because matter has been pressed into a tiny space. From observation, it has been proven that all large galaxies have supermassive black holes at its centre. The research on black holes started in the year 1963 by Martin Schmidt. The black hole was originally thought to be a star, but it proved puzzling. Astronomers think supermassive black holes and the galaxies they are in are formed at about the same time, and the size of the supermassive black hole is directly proportional to the size of the galaxy it is in. The location of the supermassive black hole in the Milky Way galaxy corresponds with the location of Sagittarius A in the galactic core which is 26,000 light years from the solar system. The observation of distant luminous quasars has been a major constraining factor for theories of supermassive black hole formation. It indicates that supermassive black holes of billions of solar masses had already formed when the galaxy was less than 1 billion years old. So, what do you all think of these five Hubble Telescope discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.